to do? What to do? Hey, Connet, has something up? You look stressed. Um, well, I... See, the thing is... Wow, no kidding? Getting headhunted by a maid cafe. Guess you can't take side jobs while working here, though, huh? No, side jobs aren't really an issue. And the hours don't conflict with my work here, either. Then what's the problem? Well, I... Um... Kanata? Uh... Well, whatever it is, you clearly have your reasons. If you need to turn them down, just do what you gotta do. I do want to decline the offer, but... Honestly, I'm not entirely sure which establishment it came from, and I'd like to know which cafe was scouting me for when time goes back to normal, you know? I see. In that case, how about we go do some detective work? Oh, thank you. So, do you remember what kind of maid it was that approached you? Um, well, she kind of talked like a cat. <laughs> Talk like a cat? I know just the person. Come on, to the station. We're off to do us some neon dreaming. Meow! Sure, but... Oh, okay. <gasps> For real? Um, yes. It's true. Meow. Guess you're out of the running, then. So sorry for the misunderstanding. N no, no. It's entirely my fault. Sorry again if I misled you. You weren't waiting too long, Asahi. What was that all about? Um, I... Uh... Well, what is it? You can tell me. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. I won't cry. Do you at least feel better now? More confident that you can turn her down next time? A actually, sorry, but that wasn't the only cafe to make me an offer. Wow, really? You sly devil, you. <laughs> Guess you want to turn this other cafe down too, huh? Do you know where it is? I don't, but I do remember the person who showed up to scout me. She was a very energetic, very cute girl with long black hair. And did she exclaim, na na na, at least once in your presence by any chance? Oh, actually yes, that's totally her. Thought so. When she gets mad or startled, she tends to yell her own name. I think we'll find her on Main Street. little shopping to take care of. I'll be back in a minute. Sorry to be a bother. Is something the matter? S seriously? Yes, it's true. That's why I can't accept your offer. I'm sorry. That is totally fine. It's unfortunate you can't be part of the team, 
but we'll manage without you somehow. What? Was I going to be that important? Oh, no, no, it's all right, really. It's a shame I won't be able to work with you, but hey, you do you. You're rocking it. I really am sorry for any misunderstanding. All done shilling your secrets? Y yeah. And you sure you won't let me in on what they are? That's enough of that, Asahi. Secrets are an indispensable part of a maiden's attire. <laughs> anyway, I've got to get back to work. Good seeing you, though. So, does that about wrap things up? There's actually one more place that tried to scout me. Sorry. I figured. Quests always come in threes. Anything specific you remember? Not about her specifically, but I do remember she flagged me down on Junk Street. Well, that's a solid start. Let's go check out the area and see what we find. Last I reached out to. Yeah, I guess. My name is Kanata Sotome. Have you decided to come work in our humble cafe? Um, actually. I uh, think I left my oven light on. Make sure to ask exactly which cafe it is she's from, though. I will. Thank you. I see. But. You do know our cafe doesn't mind that sort of thing, right? We've actually got a few folks just like you already in our employ. In fact, I dare say we'd be thrilled to have you. Um, but... Uh, oh, please, don't let me pressure you. The offer stands, but only if it's what you want. I'm sorry. I, I know you'd accept me as is, but still, it's just too embarrassing. I couldn't ask you to do anything you're uncomfortable with. Do let me know if you change your mind, though. So, did you get the name of the place? Yes. It's all sorted out. It was a cafe called Labyrinth of Passions. Oh, I know that place. They're pretty well known for having some women there who dress as men, right? <laughs> Something wrong? N no I'm all right. Kanata? I'm sorry to keep so many secrets from you, Asahi. It's totally natural to have a thing or two you don't want to talk about. Everybody does. But you've been so nice to come along with me, and I feel like I really shouldn't be so closed off with you. If you want to tell me, I'm all ears. Well, well um, I, 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 I can't. Not even to a friend like you. I'm sorry. Jeez, what's up with her? At least it's nice to know she thinks of me as a friend, I guess. Um, Asahi? Do you have some time right now? I'd like to thank you. Huh? Thank me? For before. When you helped me find the maids from those cafes. Oh, that. That was no problem. You don't need to thank me. But I'll do anything you want. What? Anything I want? What would you most enjoy having me do for you, Asahi? Uh, I mean, you're kind of putting me on the spot here. No matter what it is you want from me, it's yours. Say, for example... Put for example... I, I, I guide you around Akihabara or something. Huh? It, is that not good enough, maybe? Oh, no, 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 it's great. Thank you. Lead the way, please. Of course. It would be my pleasure. I have to ask, though, what exactly are you planning on showing me? I'm an Akiba resident myself, after all. Um, I have some ideas about that. Just leave everything to me. Our first stop will be the FOSS map on Main Street. 
There's something nearby that I'd like you to see, Asahi. I wanted to show you is here. Here? There doesn't seem to be anything too out of the ordinary around here. This is actually the entrance to Might Club, an underground fighting arena. An underground fighting arena? In Akiba? For real? It's just a rumor, but it's a very pervasive one in the maid industry. Supposedly, there's one particular maid in Akiba who comes from a crime syndicate background and is master of karate. And her crime boss parents started an underground fighting arena right here in town. Are you kidding me? There have been eyewitness reports, too, of the karate maid herself frequenting this arena and really cleaning house. Why do I get the feeling I might have been better off not knowing about this? Anyway, let's head to the next spot, shall we? It's just behind Radiola Kaikon by the station. This shop sells PP parts. Shall we upgrade? It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. Into the delusion state then? Here we are, Asahi. Okay, and where are we this time? Seems like a pretty ordinary building to me. Is there a secret lab or something? Hospital, actually. One of the rooms in this building houses a secret hospital. I had to ask. Thanks to the shady but brilliant doctors working here, you can have any surgery you want. If you can afford it. That can't possibly be true, can it? Well, I've never had anything done here. So, I can't say firsthand, but rumor has it they can cure any illness or mend any injury. They can even make you look like somebody else altogether. Though, there are some things they can't fix. Kanata? Come on, let's head to the next spot. It's in a back alley on Junk Street. Shall we take a break? A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Okay, Asahi. This is the last stop. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess the sign identifying this as a model train shop is not the whole story. That's right. A model train shop by day, but by night, it's the base of operations for a black market weapons dealer. You're kidding. You mean like Japanese katanas and stuff at least, right? Not rifles or handguns or whatnot. I mean everything. No matter what it is you're looking for, if you can kill with it, they've got it stocked in back. That seems like a really bad idea. Well, the proprietor of this black market is very particular. If she doesn't like you, she won't sell. Interesting. What kind of person is she? Uh... She wears a skull mask. Oh, gee. I wonder who that could be. Hey, you customers. Step right up. That's her now. Yeah, I kind of figured. How can I be of service to you today? There's nothing I won't sell to you lovely people. I uh, think we're good, thanks. Oh, that's too bad. Though I'm actually remodeling right now, so I wouldn't have been able to sell you nothing anyway. Works out pretty well, though. Because now I can recruit you to help me get the place done. Run for it, Kanata. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Whew. That was too close. Are you all right, Asahi? 
Never mind me. You okay? You seem awfully chill considering you just outran a guy without breaking a sweat. Um... What? Did I say something I shouldn't have? Uh, uh no. N nothing at all. I just wanted to know if you enjoyed my tour of Akihabara. Yeah, it was educational. Maybe a little too educational? I may have been better off not knowing some of that. <sighs> there are some things in life we're better off being blissfully unaware of, aren't there? Am I missing something? Did I say something stupid again? N n no, you're fine. Absolutely fine. Kanata? Contest, huh? What you looking at? Oh, hi, Asai. Um, it's... Hey, hey, the Akihabara's Moeist Princess Contest. That's right. They hold it around this time every year. Yeah, I've heard of it. Are you entering? Me? Sure. I bet you clean up in a contest like that. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee it. Nobody's Moeier than you. What? I feel the same way. Your style's totally perfect for that contest, Kanata. Uh, um... Oh, wait! If you're going to participate, you're going to need the perfect outfit. Uh, an outfit? You gonna make her one, Mippity? You bet. Kanata, what kind of outfit were you thinking of wearing? Um, well, the thing is... If you'd rather, I can go with you to buy an outfit. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. How about we go check out Soldier Zone or something? Kanata, you down? Come on! Wait, please! They sure aren't wasting any time. What's your plan? Uh... Akemi... I was just checking over the flyer to make sure it looked okay before handing it out to people. <laughs> it's a wonderful opportunity though, don't you think? A chance to build some self-confidence. I say you go and try to have some fun. Uh, okay. A close All right, here we are. Let's hurry up and see what kind of super cute outfits we can find for Kanata. Hold it right there, Asahi. Huh? You're staying here. Clothes shopping like this is... A delicate task. Better undertaken without the presence of guys. <laughs> oh, fair enough, I guess. Have a good time, then. Don't pout, Dingus! You can count on us to do this right! You know you're not coming either, right? Good. <laughs> How about we go get a camera? No sense putting this much work into an outfit if we can't get great photos of it, right? Sounds good. We'll hit you up when we're done. See you soon! I don't care what they say! I'm going too! Nothing doing. You're coming with me, buddy. Yeah, this sucks! I wanna watch! Not a chance. You're gonna be staring at this ugly mug instead. Now come on, let's hit up Boss Map on Main Street. Hey, a clothing store! Wonder if they have anything in my size. Well, we're here, but I don't know the first thing about cameras. No clue how to pick a good one from all this. Leave it to the pro, kid. Oh, you know cameras? Great! Yeah, be my guest. Go nuts! This one should meet your needs. Thanks, Reiji. You're a lifesaver. Hey, good timing. It's Mippity. Hello, Asahi. We're all done here. We've found an absolutely perfect outfit and are gonna take it back to Violet Eden so I can make the alterations. Gotcha. We'll see you back at Violet Eden then. We're done here, right? Come on. A delusion scheme! We gonna go in?
Welcome back, Asahi. Hey, glad to hear things went well. Nippity says you found just what you were looking for. That's right! This is gonna look so good on you, Kanata. Uh, I, I'm not so... I wanna see it on her! Change into it, Kanata! Right here, right now! Oh, what? Uh, here? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Can you try it on first real quick? What? In the other room, of course. And don't worry, I'll make sure Ping Kun gets nowhere near you. Yeah, fine. I don't even care anymore. Shall we then? Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what you're getting all excited about. You know there isn't a peephole or anything, right? Yeah. What the? Didn't expect we'd be able to hear them so clearly from here. Oh, you don't need to keep so covered up around us, you know. But, but perhaps it's a slim waistline. You really are a human to win. But, uh, I... What? <laughs> huh? What's going on in there? Yo, Asahi. Check this out. It's Kanata's application document. Oh, let's see. Huh? That's gotta be a mistake, right? Under gender, you mean? Yeah. I mean, is she? You can't be. She can't be. Meow. Guess you're out of the running, then. So sorry for the misunderstanding. No, no. It's entirely my fault. That is totally fine. It's unfortunate you can't be part of the team, but we'll manage without you somehow. What? Was I... going to be that important? So the reason Kanata turned those maids down is because... Rumor has it they can cure any illness or mend any injury. They can even make you look like somebody else altogether. Though... There are some things they can't fix. And the thing Kanata desperately wants to have fixed is... Um... Yeah, it was... Educational. Maybe a little too educational? I may have been better off not knowing some of that. <sighs> there are some things in life we're better off being blissfully unaware of, aren't there? I had no idea. Um, you all wouldn't mind keeping this a secret, would you? Our secret's safe with us, Kanata. Guess one of those things I'm better off not knowing is something I now know. Reggie, did you have any clue? I mean, it's a little obvious, isn't it? Violet Eden is a queen bar, after all. Yeah, that's true. And somebody that cute at a place like this was bound to be more than meets the eye. 